last week's episode, we discussed goal setting and why it's important because time just continues to slip away from us. But speaking of things slipping away from us, if you have worked from home from any length of time, you know that the distractions are there. And as we kind of navigate away from working from home, or maybe you've got the luxury of staying home and working, you might feel that those distractions are coming back even more than they were before. Now, this is something that I've been working through and I thought this was the perfect time to talk about it because it's something that I've really been struggling with. And if you are someone who is easily distracted, a little bit of squirrel, a little bit of ADD, a little bit of whatever it might be, this podcast is gonna be for you because I am definitely that person. I wanna tell you about a couple tips that I've used that have really made a difference for me. Now, some of them are oldies but goodies, definitely worth mentioning again, but some of them are some new ones that you might find really helpful. So let's jump in and talk about what I've been doing. You've heard me talk before about using a timer. Now you could use a timer on your phone. You could use an old school timer. I have both. I love both. You just have to find whatever works better for you. Now, one thing that I will caution you about, about using your phone or iPad as your timer that could lead to distractions. So you wanna make sure that all your notifications are turned off or your phone is in airplane mode. I just really hesitate to even use my phone anymore because I feel like it's just so easy for me to be like, oh, I'll just take 30 seconds and respond to that text message. And then pretty soon I've fallen down the rabbit hole and can't remember where I left off or what I was even doing because it's a half an hour later. So turning off your notifications is very important. Now, another thing too that, all the blogs, all everybody on the internet really talks about is turning off any distracting media. And there's two sides to that because I agree there is a tendency to want to watch a movie, but you're like, oh, I'll just watch the movie while I'm listening to it. But the reality of it is probably that doesn't happen unless you have a movie that you know really well. So this is something that I have done all the time. And really at this point, the movie really is a signal to my brain that it's time to work and it's time to bust some things out. And that movie for me is any of the Harry Potter films. I don't know if it's the music. I don't know if it's because I've watched it so many times because I'm literally obsessed with it. And I've memorized everything. If that's why it's not distracting to me, it's actually kind of comforting. And some of you might have something similar, like if there is a soundtrack that you listen to when you're working, or maybe it's a movie. I don't even have to watch the movie to know where I'm at in the movie. So that might be something to consider is if you do have that soundtrack or that movie, It might help you focus more by keeping your concentration by listening to that. There are several YouTube channels that offer Disney music that also is very calming to me, but sometimes that can be distracting for me, but the end all be all for me is Harry Potter. So definitely let me know what your movie is that doesn't cause you any distractions. I think a big one for me too is when you're an entrepreneur, it's a really hard to stop working, especially if you don't have anything going on. If you have your entire day ahead of you, it can be very easy to get up to use the restroom or get something to eat and then head right back to your work but not stop at a typical ending hour. Sometimes I can work till seven, eight, nine, ten 10 o'clock at night, depending on what's going on, what project we have going, things like that. So making sure that you're scheduling your work hours and leaving it at that. You have to tell yourself that by 5 p.m., you're gonna be done if that's the time that you choose. Whatever time that is for you, you wanna make sure that the hours that you're working are when you're most efficient. And for some people, they're night owls and like to work really late. And then some of my employees are really early morning people. So it just depends on what works for you and your employees. But knowing what time you're most effective is very, very important in getting as much stuff accomplished as possible, but also making sure that you turn it off after a certain time, because that can really affect your brain, your relationships, anything to do with your household, if all you're doing is working. On the same token, you wanna make sure that you're planning in your breaks. You wanna make sure that you're getting up and taking a break. And that circles back to my use of the timer. When that timer goes off, it gives me an opportunity to say, okay, time to stand up, move around, go get something to drink, 
use the restroom, whatever you need to do, step away from your computer. So that way you're giving yourself a break. Because I don't know about you, but I have really struggled with getting in the zone versus getting back in the zone. And if you're not familiar with what that is, I get into a zone of awesome work. Like I'm just, everything is flowing. I'm just chugging out podcast episodes, whatever it is. I'm just really focused on it. And so getting into that zone, but then having to come out of it for a break can sometimes be frustrating, but you have to know that for your mental health, it's good to take a break and you can come back to that project that you're working on. It'll still be there. That's the great thing about being an entrepreneur. The work will always be there. We oftentimes add so much extra stuff to our plate that there is no lack of work available. There will always be something for us to do. Another thing that has made a huge difference, which is so simple, and I feel like the best strategies, tools, hacks, whatever they might be, are sometimes the easiest and the simplest. And for me, that was purchasing a pair of Apple AirPod Maxes. So basically what that is, is it different from the AirPod Pros in the fact that there are headphones that go over your ears. The noise canceling is amazing. Now they're not the most affordable, but I really needed to upgrade my headphones for some flights that I have coming up. And I thought, you know what, now's the time. And also I made the mistake of going to the Apple store and you know what happens when you go to the Apple store. You usually spend a lot more money than you're planning on. But these headphones are incredible. I was watching my favorite movie and I heard things that I have never heard during that movie. And I know it's because of the clarity of the headphones. And so investing in a good quality noise canceling headphone can really make a difference. And I will tell you that Getting back into the zone that I mentioned earlier is so much easier with these headphones. I just put them back on, the noise is gone, and I really can focus. I mean, it is incredible and kind of goofy when you think about how much more stuff I've been able to get done just because of the noise canceling feature. I'm not distracted by the dogs or the noise or the ring notification going off. None of those things are happening because everything is canceled out. They're incredible. So I encourage you to find a good pair of noise canceling headphones if you are struggling to stay focused during your work. I've also talked on multiple occasions about making sure that you're schedule blocking time in to get your goals done. So there are always fires throughout the day that cannot be gotten rid of. I mean, you just have to handle them and move on. So once you've got the distraction out of your way, you can then return back to your calendar okay, what am I supposed to be doing right now? Even though this distraction happened and I was working on project A, where am I supposed to be right now? And being able to look at that, a quick reference, whether that's in your planner or on your Google calendar is huge because it allows you to quickly refocus and get back on track. So for me, these tips have really helped with the distractions at home especially when there's laundry to be done, dogs to be snuggled. There's so many distractions, but I will tell you these couple easy tips have made a huge difference for me over the last couple weeks. So you give them a try and let me know how they worked for you.